Hi, I'm Rich Brown, Senior Editor for CNET.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Velocity Micro Raptor Z90. So this is a high-end $5,000 gaming PC. It comes with Intel's brand new Core i7-3930K CPU. So that's a 6-core chip, and it normally ships at 3.2 GHz, but Velocity Micro has overclocked it to 4.7. That makes the system very fast at multi-threaded apps, and it's suitable for gaming as well as digital content creation. So the Z90 is one of Velocity's larger cases, and we like the look of it. It's nice and sturdy, it's very clean. If you open up the front panel here, you'll see there's a Blu-ray drive as well as an SD card reader. Turn the system on its side, you can see the nice transparent side panel. Now that's a good touch for people that like to show off their high-end hardware, gamers in particular. Now around back, you get a view of the ports and a brand new Asus motherboard using Intel's new X79 chipset. You can see there's all kinds of connectivity options, pretty much everything you'd want in a modern PC. You get 7.1 analog audio, digital audio, six USB 2.0 ports, four USB 3 ports, which is great, a couple digital audio outputs, as well as powered eSATA. Down here in the pair of graphics cards, you've got four DVI outputs, as well as two mini HDMI outs. There's also a wireless networking card here, and you can see the antenna screwed on the back. Now, Velocity Micro is one of our favorite system builders because it builds such clean systems, and this is no exception. You can see there's a liquid cooling rig here going down to the Core i7 chip down here in the motherboard. Now new to this new chipset is the ability to support up to eight sticks of memory, in this case quad channel memory. In this system there's 16 gigs of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM divided between four memory sticks. You can see the sticks here, there's two more underneath the cooler here, and there's also room to add four more sticks of your own later on if you want. For the graphics cards, Velocity Micro has included two GeForce GTX 5800 cards, among the fastest out there, and they make the system able to play pretty much any game you can throw at it at very high resolution and detail settings. Now, technically, the system will support three graphics cards, but with the wireless card included, that option is pretty much cut off. You do get a spare PCI Express slot inside, though, so you could add, say, a sound card or some other feature if you wanted to. And I also give Velocity Micro credit for its hard drive design. You've got two SSDs here for fast boot and data loading, and up here you've got a two terabyte hard drive for mass storage. We also like the Velocity has pre-installed the power and data connections behind these two hard drive slots. That makes it easy to add hard drives post-purchase. So all in all, this is a fine high-end performance system. Our only reservation comes with the CPU. Now, six-core CPUs might provide great multi-threader performance, but this is also an expensive chip and an expensive motherboard. Intel's previous generation Core i7-2600K chip has four cores, goes pretty much as fast in games and general applications. So overall, this is kind of a niche system, and we recommend it to gamers that also need fast multi-threaded CPU performance. So I'm Rich Brown. This is the Velocity Micro Raptor Z90.